God's name is Yahuwah, or Yahweh, or Elohim. Jesus' name is Yahusha, or Yeshua, or Yahawashai. The Holy Spirit's name is Rahakadesh. These are their original Hebrew names. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. John 5, 43. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak thou also unto the children of Israel, saying, Verily, my Sabbaths ye shall keep. For it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that ye may know that I am the Lord that doth sanctify you. Ye shall keep the Sabbath, therefore, for it is holy unto you. Every one that defileth it shall surely be put to death. For whosoever doeth any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Exodus 31, 12 through 14. Dad, you made me, so you know very well that I am but dust. Yet you have called me into your kingdom to serve you at this specific time for a very specific purpose. Despite my ordinariness, I belong to you, and you are anything but ordinary. Help me pour out your grace and compassion upon others that they too may experience the richness of your love. Dad, through me, show others how you can use an ordinary life to bring extraordinary blessings into the world. In Yahushua's name, I pray, I thank you. I love you, Dad. It's your time. Come on. I have lived a long time, and the longer I live, the more convincing proofs I see that God, Yahuwah God, governs in all our affairs. God's mill grinds slow, but it grinds exceedingly fine. You are made for God, just like your eye is made for light. You cannot see in the dark. You cannot find peace except in the will of God. Thy will be done. You cannot find peace except in the will of God, for thy will is my peace. Out of the will of God, there is no such thing as success. In the will of God, there cannot be any failure. Commit your way unto him. Relax also in him, and he shall bring it Just as much as you commit, he shall bring it to pass. Psalm 53, 1 through 6. The fool hath said in his heart, there is no God. Corrupt are they, and have done abominable iniquity. There is none that doeth good. God looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand, that did seek God. Every one of them is gone back. They are altogether become filthy. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. Have the workers of iniquity no knowledge, who eat up my people as they eat bread? They have not called upon God. There were they in great fear, where no fear was, for God hath scattered the bones of him that encampeth against thee. Thou hast put them in shame, because God hath despised them. Oh, that the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion, when God bringeth back the captivity of his people, 
Jacob shall rejoice, and Israel shall be glad. I would like to reread verse 6 again. Oh, that the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion. When God bringeth back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice, and Israel shall be glad. Yahuwah is speaking to you right here. Here, do you sometimes feel like you are living in captivity? Do you sometimes wish you could break out of your circumstances and fly away to the uttermost part of the sea on the wings of the morning? Psalm 139.9 Let me encourage you, my beloved child. You shall not always lie in bondage. A glorious day of victory and deliverance is coming for you. It is a day which will give you much joy and many releases. You will rejoice and be glad, and all of yesterday's bondage will fade away like a dream. I am preparing now to bring all of my people out of every bondage. I love them and will not let them continue under the systems of the world. I am calling you into a new liberty. Your day of deliverance has come. No powers of darkness shall be able to hold you in captivity and bondage when your day of deliverance comes. It is the anointing that shall break all yokes of bondage in your life and every life. There is no bondage so powerful that the anointing cannot break it. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world or he that attacks you. Stand fast in your liberty. Stand fearlessly. And when you have done all and there is nothing left to do, stand still. I am working for you while you are standing. I am preparing a miracle of deliverance for you. See, Satan is a liar and he cannot hold captive those for which I shed my blood. You have been bought with a terrible price. You belong to me and Satan has no rights to you. Rebuke him. Resist him. Stand fast in your liberty, for you are free from him. You owe him nothing. Rebuke him. Resist him in Yahusha's name. My grace shall come in rays of glory in your life and burn up the cords of captivity and you shall be turned into another person for the hour has come. The dawning of this new day shall reveal the glorious triumphant saints of all ages in full splendor and you are called to this elect company So rejoice, rejoice, your days of captivity are over. Again, I say, rejoice, rejoice. You be blessed now, you hear? Peace.